if you are a premium product, there are places that um, people are going to go that they're always going to go, right? So Whole Foods, uh, a Whole Foods, for example, right? The consumers that shop there, they know they're pay paying premium prices for premium products. They're not going to even there. They're going to slow down, but you've got a core set of consumers are always going to go. The Nature's Emporiums of the world, all of those guys, oh, they all have sure. that. Um, what I call almost like the fair weather premium, like me, right? Like I would go to Longo's, but I would buy premium stuff there because I can, because I'm able to. But at some right. point, like – You'll probably still be able to, but you're – But I'm going to buy a lot less. I'm going to start squeezing for it. value. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, start squeezing treat, for value. Yeah, you're going to treat, but I'm telling you right, like the yeah. chip example. Yeah. Ray and Rachel, get used to it. You are eating Lay's. <laughs> Mom and dad are having the humble potato chips. Yeah, correct. Just so we're correct, all very correct, clear. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Not going to yeah. stop bringing them in the house, yeah. but it's not going to yeah. be for everybody. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You guys get bottled water or, or tap water. Yeah. And mom and dad will still get a Pellegrino. Yeah, when yeah, yeah. They want. Yeah. Might now be a case from Costco and no longer single bottles from Longo's. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because, I but, mean, again, that yeah, will move into different yeah. spots too. Correct. Yeah, and again, correct. though, it's. It's not they're going to stop. People will. People bought with all these price increases. We we saw it. People are still buying. You're still buying yep. shit. I buy shit. I mean, yep. whatever. Yeah. But I definitely know that even I've started looking. Think, yeah, you know what? Maybe I just we got to be careful. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not well, this week. But, you know. Maybe I yeah. just cut it back a little, and and maybe next time. Yeah. Right. Maybe you so know what? There Let's ease up on that. the dinners a little bit. For Let's sure. Let's cook a few more dinners. For sure. You know, maybe right now, maybe it's a little less beef, yeah. and a little more chicken. Yeah. Yeah, that, you know, neither is inexpensive, but one's definitely more less expensive than the other. Can we? And I think buyers' mentality do that. Yeah, they got to talk to your buyers. Like you I, I wanted to circle around because I think thinking. that's so. So, what's the comp? What's the right? Because I think a lot of brands also struggle with this too. Right? Is how the heck do I? So one is I may not be able to get to a buyer that often. So when I do, what are the things that I can? Like, how do I go about asking this? Like, how do I ask them, dude, what are, what are you doing with this? Like, am I in trouble? Like, what are you thinking in this category? How do I, I know? Just, I would probably just ask. Like, come straight would, out and I, ask it. I would straight out. I mean, you're not, you're not necessarily going to get a straight answer. Mm -hmm. You know what? If you sit and listen, there's enough in there to, to probably give yourself a feeling. You know, if someone goes, oh, my God, no, we're up about 350% and we'll be up 50% forever. Okay, you probably know the guy's full of shit or the woman's full of shit because – Nobody's like that. If they're if they're looking and saying, listen, you know, right now we seem to be doing really well. We've had a great year. You know, we're looking at expanding house brands, et cetera. Well, then mm -hmm. there's clues in there mm -hmm. that you listen mm -hmm. for, you know, expanding house brands. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Pricing, um, reducing competition because you can only buy President's Choice through a law of loss company. Yeah. You only buy a Western family through a save on group of companies or whoever it is. Yeah. Compliments is, I guess, Sobeys, IGAs. You know what I mean? So you start listening to them. And if you have a good relationship with a buyer point blank, they're never going to, no buyer is going to be that honest with you. No different than you're not going to be that honest with them. But if you but just there's keep gonna be enough. Them, there's, there's going to be enough. There's nuggets in there where you should be able to get yeah. a feel. And yeah. you know what? If you're a type of a brand owner who doesn't get into retail, get off your ass and get into retail. Yeah. And I'll tell you why Go I say it. Start happening. looking at the planograms. What's yeah. happening? If yeah. you start walking down the frozen aisle and you start seeing all the high end, um, uh, foods leaving, like you know, like meals. Pretend hungry man was an expensive meal, whatever. But if you start noting contraction there, and you start seeing more house bread, the, the retailer is emphatically telling you something. If you start going down uh, protein aisles, and you start seeing a lot more farm fish versus fresh fish, or a lot more pre-packaged, pre-frozen versus fresh, they're probably telling you something. Well, Either the consumer's not interested because yeah. it's less expensive to go this way, or you know what? We're definitely telling you the consumer's not interested because we're going to cut space back. So, we're going to go where they go. So a good example is um, – at, at so I, I do have – I'm in Ontario, right? So Kenny's in Vancouver, but I have a Longo's in my neighborhood, and their house brand Curato, like in the pasta aisle. Let's use something basic, staples, right? But in their pasta aisle – all of the kind of more premium pastas have shrank in facings, um, you know, and they put in more of their own private label subs for some of those, you know, like um, some of the, the uh, fancier pastas, like the little swirly thingies. Um, yeah. 
you know, cuts. you know, all those different kinds, like they've all started to go away. Like you, you, there are a lot less packages of those. There's a, a right. much bigger Longo set. The, the pastas are a little bit cheaper, right? Or they, they try and give you a more premium feel, but. Or they'll the, give you maybe 50 grams, lot more less, 400 yeah, grams of 500 grams. A lot less gram. dollar ring. Yeah, for sure. Right? For sure. But it's still less yeah. expensive. Or even if it's on par, yeah. I'm getting 40% yeah. more product yeah. or whatever. It is. Yeah. The reason though, those guys have the ability because they've got quantity, they lock in yep. pricing and contracts for six, yep. to 12 months, a year and a half, whatever yep. the hell the number is. I mean, maybe, yep. maybe not as long now because it's so volatile, but if you're buying pasta from uh, Italy or you're buying, I'm telling you right now, there is more pasta increases coming. I mean, just so we're all very aware they're coming but because but, wheat has gone yeah. up again. But importantly there too is, is they're also following they're hearing what the consumer has to say, right? Is that they would like some more value. They would like the, you know, they, they want to be able right. to get a little bit more bang for their buck. Right. Which is what Kenny's talking about is if you, if you are a brand person and you haven't been in store, you got to be in, you got to be looking around. On, you you got to think seeing, about, you know, if you start seeing all the premium yeah. leaving, which it won't happen. Cause again, there's a large part of the population that will yeah. not feel anything. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We do live in an affluent, you exactly. Know. And we yeah. also live in a society where we do like to treat ourselves. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, if retail doesn't hurt, it's going to hurt on the food service side. Mm -hmm. So again, we have brands that play both sides of the fence. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. going to have little less restaurant activity than you might not have. But I do still believe that, you know, I'll buy the pure cranberry juice for $7.99 or $8.99 periodically, but might be a little bit more ocean spray that comes into the house, whether I like it or not. Right. And I don't like yeah. that, by the way. I mean, yeah. I've got apple juice. I got beautiful apple juice from the Okanagan, but it's yeah. $6.99, $7.99 for yeah. $7.91 mils. So it's very similar tough. to like a Newtson and stuff. Yeah. Right. Where I could drink that every single day. Well, I may sporadically now put in a few $3.99, $4.99 less attractive mm -hmm. options. Not mm -hmm. because of anything, because I'm going to just balance it out. You know, and take a look at what I'm doing, or I'm going to have to start consuming a little less, and maybe I don't change anything. But instead of you know half a bottle a day of that great apple juice, maybe I cut it down to a glass a day, mm -hmm. and all I do is stretch the money just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Again, that's not it's, it's what you said at the beginning. It's not to scare the shit out of people, but nope. I think you got to be realistic yep. and you got to sit in the sit in the world we're in. Yeah, you know, and I think I, mean, I think for us it's the other way around. We we see what well, is opportunities. These, we see these wonderful brands and what they do, and we don't want people to go away we we no. want to watch them stay around right but there is yeah there's some adjustments for sure there's gonna be some coming just really get to know your buyer though i really yeah. would say that to be honest with you yeah. i'd really get to be a lot better friends with my buyer if you can get to your buyer i don't yeah. know if that's like yeah. anymore either okay um if you guys have questions ping us back if if oh my um, god for sure if we've we've been hurtful, we don't mean it. Um, an and then if idea. there's anything we can do to help, um, you know, whether you want to pick, um, you know, buyers' brains, uh, you want to you want to sound out some reactions, or you just want to generally complain, we're we're here for you. We're around. I mean, remember again, we're brand owners. Yeah. We work for we work for people who push brands. We work in retail. I mean, we're up and down the whole freaking spectrum. Yeah. yeah. So. If we can help. All right. All Thanks good. for listening. Thanks for listening, guys.